Hello guys and welcome to another video tutorial here on Shade Designs. Now today, the tutorial is going to be a quick, simple and easy way to play around with an image using Photoshop. And we're, going to play, you know, we're going to be playing around with the color balances and you know, we're going to do all sorts of you know, techniques. And um, you know, the things that I'm going to try to apply on this image, now this is a photo that I've taken I just recently using uh, was you know just my iPhone, um, it's from a group feed of a wall. Now like, what I'm going to do is we're going to convert this image to be a black and white and we're going to apply some color splash uh, effects to it and um, if you don't know what that means it's something similar to this. Now this is a document that I'm currently working for uh, for a community project which I'm doing um, Okay, now as you can see that I used uh, an image of, uh, was a photo that I took using a uh, special uh, for DSLR for camera, you know, that I have at the moment. Um, and as, you know, what I did was, uh, I, you know, I converted to be for black and white and I added some color, uh, you know, color for textures to it. So I added, uh, was, you know, some overlay. So that's the thing that I'm going to show you guys to do um, and teach you guys how to do this on today's tutorial. Okay, so we're going to first start off with the document that we have. So just copy this and put it into a new document because we don't want to save any changes to the original document. Okay, now I'll paste that. The first thing we're going to do is to duplicate that layer. So in case if anything happens to this, um, you know, in case anything happens to this actual um, if image or this layer that we're working on, we always have a backup layer that we can always refer that to. And also just switch off that layer, so turn it off. Okay, now just go back to your original layer and then we're going to convert this to, to be in black and white. So the easiest way to convert this in black and white is you click on to image, adjustments, black and white. And that's automatically going to you know, change it to be black and white. But however, it also gives you these color balances that you can move them around, um, you know, look, to make it more vibrant. For instance, our image had, um, yeah, we, you know, as you can see, this red part here, yeah, we just take this by, so as you can see, my red part dials towards the center. So if I increase this towards the white area, so if I increase it towards this side, as you can see, it's going to be quite, it's going to be bright, it's going to be a bit far brighter. So maybe put it all the way to the front, as you can see, it's a bit um, cheap looking bulky and it doesn't look good okay so we're gonna put it around um, let's put it around about the hundred mark okay and as I said so this is all up to you okay so just put it to um, a balance where you feel comfortable about, about it uh, I'm just gonna move the green so we're gonna have a more darker uh, bottom okay then uh, the blue just put that a bit uh, and the people would just put it that way. Okay, now just press OK. And what we're going to do, this is the fun and easy part, is we're going to apply something called um, a multiple, multiply color effect layer. Okay, so the way how we're going to do that, as you can see in the document that I'm working with, I have, I use three colors. Um, I use like a light purplish, dark purple, um, I think that's like a red or something. Um, yeah, it's red mixed with purple and pink and stuff. Um, and that's like a, a lot of pink. Okay. So what we're going to do is just gonna create a new layer. Click on layer, new layer. Okay. Press enter. Then we're going to just get out our circle tool or our eclipse tool as it's known in Photoshop, which is the one here. So right hand click on that icon, click on to eclipse tool. Okay. And then we're going to change the color, okay? So we're going to put, um, let's go for, uh, so this, uh, put a, make it a bit darker, okay? So we go, okay, so we go for this type of blue, and that's a code to use. If you want to use that specific blue I'm using at the moment, press OK. And we're going to just quickly draw a circle. Now, it doesn't have to be an exact perfect circle, okay? And if you want to make a perfect circle, what you do is just hold your shift key and you know just draw a circle and uh, what I'll do is that it will draw um, a circle directly a proportion to be an exact circle um, but if you want to just to draw freelance just to yeah, just use a mouse and just go bazonkers with them okay so there you are and then put that as so move that aside here 
Okay, now we're going to change the color. We're going to change the color and we're going to go for a darker bluish. Okay, so get the. Okay, so get that one. And this is the code to use for that specific blue color. Okay, draw as I said, another blue circle. Okay, now if I want you to. You know to mix the circles for together. So if I don't want them to be for separate, you know, like this. Okay, I want them to be for mix together. So that's so that's how you're gonna create. As you can see, that blending for option. How these two for colors are blending in together. I say you create it. You have to mix the uh, the circles together. Okay. Change it again. Um, and let's go for. Uh, Let's go for a purple. Okay, so that's the color. That's the code to use for the specific purple. Okay. Okay. Press on turn that, and this one we're just gonna make a quite a big one here, right? Okay. Perfect. Okay. And then, what we do is we go to our filter section. So click on to filter. Go to blur. And go to Gaussian below, okay, and just set that to be, you know, just all the way to the, you know, to the end, okay. So, okay, so as you can see now, it's a bit blending, and that's kind of what we want, okay. Press enter on that one, and the way how you apply it to your image is to right hand click on the actual layer that has your circles, click on to blending options. And then click on to the blending mode, go down to multiply. As you can see, it applied the color effects to our work. Now you can see this is just a basic form. If you wanted to make a bit more professional, you know, Vazas did, you just have to play around with the um, the dials of you know the circle. Um, also think about you know the color variations you're using. Um, and um, yeah, just try to you know, you know think of ways how you could um, you know to, to implement them and place them onto your layer. And if you want to go, uh, you know, if you want to make it you know a bit further more interesting, like what you can do is just press Control T or Command T, and what that's going to do is to open up the free transform tool. And you could also do that by clicking to Edit Free Transform. Okay. Um, what you do, just hold your shift key and just go and move them towards. Uh, so, so just just enlarge it, okay, and put that around. I would say, put that there. If you want, because I want that flay, um, fading light blue part to be there on the edge, okay. Um, and then what you can do. Is you create a new layer, okay, and uh, we're gonna get a brush tool, okay. Now this brush tool, you could use this. Um, there's various, uh, you know, for brushes that you could download. You know, there's heaps of them. Um, they're free, of course, um, but you know, there are some where you have to pay money for. But as I said, um, it is free. So just Google search free Photoshop, um, you know, for brush. And then it will come up with heaps. And you can easily just download them and install them onto Photoshop. It's, it's a very quick process. Okay, now once you click onto your brush tool, okay, if you don't see the outline of the brush you're going to use, you have that means that you have your your cap lock on. Okay, so if you have it on, you won't see it. So if I have my cap lock on, see, I can't see it. Um, if I could only see uh, like a cross, okay, and that does not do any good for us, right? So just turn off your cap lock, um, and you can see the outline, okay? So just click on to that, and you can see it. Oh, change the color, just make it white, okay? So go like that, and go and drag it down. Now, like I said, you could always search for, you know, uh, the brushes that you want to use, and as I said, it is free. Uh, but however, there are some where you have to pay for them. Uh, try to avoid them. And, uh, <laughs> as well as you could also make your own brushes. Um, but that's a bit complicated. Okay. Uh, so we're going to put that to be in the middle. Um, and put that uh, 
Number two. Done. Perfect. Okay. So once you have your brush uh, tool there, or once you have your brush pattern there, what you do is just click on to the lay you're using at the moment, right hand click, and click on to create clipping mask. Now what that does is that it applies the layer they're working on, the brush layer, will apply it on automatically to the bottom layer that's underneath, which is the circular ones. Okay, so what that does is that it, um, the best way of describing it is that it, um, it smudges onto the the previous file layer, or it prints onto it, um, and that you know that just helps it to create um, a more dynamic or better for looking um, document work. <laughs> so I mean I don't know what I'm even saying at the moment, so I uh, just ignore that. <laughs> uh, create a new layer, okay. And then, if you want to place uh, something for behind that, so you can see, you know, like we have the, you know, for edge, and you can see it's, uh, it's been, if I shared that, what we can do is we're going to apply uh, a square, okay? So go, so go to your circle tool or your your shapes tool, right hand click and click onto the rectangle tool, okay? And we're going to go for a bright red. Go for that red. Uh, just draw a normal square, uh, rectangle, okay? Don't worry about it at the moment. Just place it towards the center. What we're going to do now is we're going to make it as uh, let's try multiply and uh, uh, yeah, just play around with the um, the blending mode and get something that you might like. Uh, oh, that looks nice. Uh, just click on to overlay for that one. That looks quite nice. Um, okay, but we're going to make this bit to be a bit bright. Uh, let's just stretch it down. Okay. As you can see. Now, all this is just, you know, has come all under, you know, through practice. Because I've been working on Photoshop since, uh, well, I started getting into Photoshop since 2007 and slowly slowly I've just been playing around with them just going through for tutorials on YouTube and that's how I learn so it's just all about practice at the end of the day really um, okay so move the red rectangle layer under the circle layer actually don't do that just leave it as it is okay um, yes so now what we can do if you want you could also stretch your rectangle thing you can stretch it all the way down. So now it's a bit more red, pinkish, it's more funky looking. And you could see it also created, uh, you know, some nice effect onto the bottom. I mean, to the top part, you could see uh, the outlines of, uh, in, uh, was it like the images have been really grasped and uh, it's making good uses of it. So it doesn't also look if artificial, it looks more um, vibrant. Um, and as I said, you can just quickly, you know, keep playing around with this. You can use, you know, various other tools, um, so on and so forth. And, you know, you can get out a really good, uh, what's it for, document. Apply your text and your graphics and all that, and uh, you'll be good to go. And you can use that as even uh, a background for a CD cover or a background for your website or whatever the, might, you know, the case might be. Um, and as I said, um, you can download the actual file that I just created for today's tutorial. You can download it from my website. I'll go to shadedesigns.com. Then under the video tab, just click on to tutorial materials. And it will be hopefully placed on this section of the website after I uploaded the video onto YouTube. Um, as you can see, and you can download it for free. So there's no charge involved or anything like that. Um, and also, I also have a Facebook fan page where you could follow. I mean, this is where I upload all my work and uh, you know some logos that I have done, uh, not only for small um, and local businesses, but also for corporate uh, for businesses. Um, so make sure to follow that, which is facebook.com forward slash shade designs, um, and I'll post all the information and anything. That, you know, they, um, if I need to tell you guys onto the Facebook, you could also contact me through the Facebook page, and also you could also 
contact me on my website on the bottom uh, part. Just send your emails and you can shoot off all your questions and everything that you know that, that you might need. So I do hope that you learn uh, a trick or two um, through today's tutorial. I apologize that I haven't created a video for two weeks. Um, and um, until then, take care and peace.